Hey guys. One of the greatest things to come out of Germany since Sauerkraut, Equilibrium. They have a new song, new video, and the name of the song is Cerulean, Cer Cerulean Skies. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, this video, this song was voted number one by our Patreon viewers, and that's why we're checking it out. All right? So, uh, the last one with this new singer, by the way, that track was absolutely mint. Yeah. Mint. I don't know... Uh, how they found him, or I don't know the, the process that they went through in order to find a brand new lead singer. Whatever the process is, I think they need to write like one of those, you know, uh, finding a singer for dummies. So that other bands can kind of follow suit. Because I feel like a lot of bands are like playing Battleship and it's just hitting water. Who knows, man? It's hard when you're changing lead singers. Like that's one of the hardest things to do. And for them to hit a, like a home run, uh, kudos to them. Kudos to them. Now me saying all of this, and now this song is going to suck. <laughs> you know, like, you know, but like, it's not going to be his fault, though. Maybe it's not his fault. Maybe it's the drummer. Maybe it's like the, yeah, or the bass player, because we all know the bass is the very important part. Uh, I, th I think probably the, the drummer. Yeah. Uh, he looks kind of shitty to me. A anyways, uh, not shitty. Shady. 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 All right. So, uh, you ready for this? Yeah. Fade, won't hold it, bring down Lost in the veil 
Oh, those uh, Undertaker eyes there at the end. I don't know if you noticed. Ah, uh, but... you know, you know what I noticed? Okay, there was. The song has a very nice, like, wintry vibe to it, and I because of the sins. Yes, okay. but but what I will say is. There was well, the scenery also helped. There was a part where the double pedals came in, the synths were there, the vocals had that fast harshness where it reminded me of, uh, I think the band was Ephraim Herald, the one that the, the sea will swallow us whole. Uh, I agree with you to a certain extent. It reminded me a lot more of Bremier, but okay, go ahead. Both, both, yes. Bremier, yes. Bremier and uh, Ephraim Herald. And I'm talking about good Ephraim Herald, so that one song. Um, yeah, because their album after that was absolute shit. This is what it should have sounded Which sound was their like. debut album. This is what it should have sounded like. I'm willing to give those guys a second chance if they ever... No, no, me too, me too. You know. Um, well, if every time a band releases a bad album, I wouldn't listen to them anymore, I wouldn't be sitting here. Yes, I know, but I feel... Because considering the, the Renegades that they released, that album to me was like jumping off a boat uh, and not hitting water. Well, to that, 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 I was going to get to that. 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 Um, but... With that, with that band, it was more of like I felt betrayed because you lured me in with such a good song, and then I had to wait a couple of years and then get shit. Oh, get ready for the next Winter Sun release. Anyways, <laughs> today oh, I'm Lord, today dude. I'm firing in all in all directions. I'm taking no fucking. Prisoners. Why are you gonna remind me, man, <laughs> dude? That honestly, like, I'm gonna be so depressed. Like, don't touch, don't don't even talk to me. Like the the videos after that album released, whenever the fuck that is, uh. On, if you guys see me in, like, a bad mood, you know why. Okay, but, but back to this. So back to this. This, what's funny about Equilibrium is, is a band where I've never really had a, a steady footing in. I've never had that, oh, I like this band. Oh, uh, I'm, you know, big fan of this band. I hate this band. Yada, yada. I've never they, had... They've, they've kind of changed. They've kind of been. changed, yeah. And I, so I've never had... But even when they were what they were at the time, I've never had... A steady footing with this band. Okay, it's been very kind of pregnant. This band has been very kind of pregnant around me, but with this new lead singer and the sound, and I, I, I dude. But this song is way heavier. Yeah, but uh, vocally, but, vocally, vocally, way heavier but, but than the previous what? one. It, it doesn't. It doesn't feel that There's way. There's barely any clean vocals. There's a little bit. But it doesn't but feel that way because of the premier, no, because of because the, of the premier effect. The the the, the synths that the, the lighten up the mood there. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, and and. I, that's that's why I'm I'm very hopeful for this for not only this new singer but just this new everything just because like I said they've never been a band where I've liked some of their songs and I've not liked I've some liked of more of their folky stuff earlier on yes folky stuff uh, and then to me they kind of like start to move away from that sound more yeah, and more yeah and then Renegades to me was the the was pinnacle the, the pinnacle? The uh, yeah, the, it was the pinnacle of the pit, exactly. Um, and I, I was like, at that point in time, I was like, where, where are they going? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what's I, happening here? But, but I'm, I'm happy to say. I that felt like there was almost like an intervention needed, where we yes. bring everybody in the room, and it's like, you know, guys, what you know, is like, going what, on? what the fuck is going this on? This is here? what is going on. This is so fucking. And bad. I don't mind a band changing sound and yeah, evolving through the way, as long as the albums are good. Yeah, and, and like whatever it is that you're doing. Be good at it, whatever that is. And, and I honestly, I'm not one of those guys that holds a band's feet to the fire and I expect what you released on the first record, unless you're ACDC. Whatever you release on the first record is what I expect throughout your entire yeah, discography. I'm not, to get an ACD, I, I'm, ACD. I'm not that kind of a guy. I'm able to evolve with the band's evolution of their sound. And, and then always becomes the question, okay, maybe I like where they're going or maybe I don't like where they're going. But I can always at least appreciate what they're doing. Yeah, I just felt like that record was really a miss across, uh, across all, all elements. All elements, yeah. Like, I was gonna, I was gonna say I'm not trying to get an ACDC uh, album that's like black metal. It's not happening. No, no. I, I, I don't. I don't. ACDC is what they are. Exactly. They're yeah. what they've put out and what they have. No, that's just them. Yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, you know what? This. New lead singer, I'm loving his voice. I'm ah, he's definitely bringing a different it. attitude, and he's bringing a different yeah. uh, feel, and is is bringing a different energy. But but you're right with the Bremier thing because it does. This song especially has such a good Bremier, and that's a, that, that's a band that I think criminally it, underrated. Oh, criminally underrated. criminally underrated. I mean that that's a that's a really really good band. And they have so many amazing elements that I feel like I'm picking up in some songs here and there throughout what we go through. The, the thing the thing about that comparison that I think gives these guys a little bit of a leg up is that for as much as I like Bremier, they cannot pull off the clean vocals that this guy can pull off. True. So that will give them 
way more tools in terms of how you decide to approach the songs, how you decide to approach an album construction. Because his the the, the other song, the first song that came out with with him on vocals, he was. I'm not saying he's not phenomenal here, but he really flexed on that I, one. But I think that was the point. He really flexed. I agree with you. I think if you're introducing the guy, yeah. you got you to flex. So you got to flex what he has. But what I'm saying is, is a band like Premier or a band like bands like those, they don't have a lead singer. Uh, they, they have a different kind of lead singer. And yeah, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying like... For a band you, like Equilibrium... I think you have more tools here need, to play with. You need this, yeah. yeah. And for a brand like Premier, the vocals fit very yeah, well. Exactly. But I, I'm, I, like I said, I love the Premier, the Premier effect uh, of it. Um, that was the first thing that came to mind listening to this. Yeah, Premier definitely. But for some reason, you know, the sea swallows us whole. That that fucking. And it did. It did, and that's why there was nothing good after that. Because yeah. you know you were at the bottom of the sea. You know what's funny? Is like that that song that song is is honestly one of one of my favorite songs we've ever done on the channel. It's one of them. Like, we've... Obviously... Now it sounds like you're making one of those Belgium Jasper no, Top no, no, 50 no, no. lists. Okay, but we've been around for, for seven years, eight years, whatever the fuck... Five years. 2017 or... Uh, six years. 2017. Yeah, yeah so almost years. seven years. Almost seven years. It's gonna be seven years next summer. Not yeah. almost. Fuck. S whatever. Six years. If I don't have a Top 50, then, then... Who does? Then who does? Exactly. But definitely, if, if you're gonna... Songs that have helped... The uh, songs that have that uh, that I can perfectly pinpoint in times of my life, that that song is definitely there. Thul Kundra, uh, um, second what was the second fall? That that song definitely is, is somewhere there. Like so, let me ask you this: Go, I'm I'm trying to veer you back onto this to this topic to this song. Did it surprise you that there was no clean vocals? Because I thought that there would be some at some point. Uh, <sighs> There was a little bit, but there it was, was a little bit. But to be honest with you, the way the song was going, the way everything was going, I didn't, I didn't think they were ever gonna come. I was hoping that they wouldn't. Yeah, to yeah, be honest yeah, with yeah, you, because I, I think it would become a little bit predictable. Yeah, yeah. Like, like okay, the chorus it. comes in, the chorus comes in, and you. But get I think that's vocals. what I think that's what the whole point of the first one was to flex it and say, okay, this is what he can do. Now this song is okay. You know, now we're being more versatile, so the song's gonna be more this. Maybe the next song will have more clean vocals and harsh vocals. Maybe the other song will have. Yeah. Uh, only one clean vocal. But dude, part. I'm impressed with the guy. Yeah, I mean, he. he I'm he, impressed. Dude, he's I'm doing, fucking he's impressed. He's doing the rap hands, and I don't even care. I noticed that too, and I was wondering about how did you feel about that. I don't care. I don't care. You got, you got Ryan Hart. Ryan Hart doing his thing. Like I don't know. Who the fuck is Ryan? He's a German character in a video game. Oh. Fuck. I thought it was Riddle. No. He looks like Riddle from WWE. No, he doesn't. A little bit. No, he doesn't. You know what he looks like? I, I was gonna. AEW should sing Riddle, by the way. Anyways. Wait, can you? I want you to pull back to his face, because I, I wanted to make this this uh, comparison, but I don't know if I can. Nah, I can't. I was gonna. I was because his his facial hair and his long in his long hair. I was gonna say he looks like um you know the court case uh, of um. Oh, where's this going? You know the court. I'm trying to remember his name now. Varg. From, from Dude, he looks nothing like fucking... Exactly, exactly. That's why I had to see his face again. I had to see his face again. Not everybody with long hair and a beard. Uh, no, but if you go to the, if you go to the court case When he varb. smiles like that... that yes, that, that yes, gift court case smiles. varb. That's the, the varg. That's a different varg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was prime. <laughs> this was prime moments. <laughs> yeah, that, that was just prime moments. That was, that was not the icon card at that point. That was just the prime one. That was prime. <laughs> The icon came. The icon card. Yeah, the icon card. The icon card was him having his YouTube channel and then having it taken down. You know, I used to watch his YouTube channel because I'm like, fuck, I want to see what the hell Varg's doing. And all it is is him like, oh, wow. uh, him like the fucking um, what's it called? The the Notre Dame uh, fire. So it was an inside job or some bullshit. That guy was off his rocker. He still is. I mean, he hasn't died. He so hasn't it, died and yet. he's not like he's gotten any better yeah. in his views of the looks, world. He also looks very different. I think he doesn't he have a shaved head now or something. He had a mohawk at one point. Yeah, but now he he kind of he kind of is like. It looks like me. No, yeah. he's way skinnier than me. You when you had the longer, he's he's a mixture of you when you had the longer beard and you uh, in the first year of the channel where everyone thought you were sick. Nobody thought that. Anyway, everyone thought you were sick. Anyhow, I look nothing. He doesn't look nothing like him, and I definitely look nothing no, like no, him. No. I, I mean, maybe I'd look like him if he was dead for a week, floating uh, along the. 
the Vesuvius. I'm telling you, maybe it, then a little you bloated, at the start of the channel bored. with your long maybe. beard. It's you. I mean, like, wow, this, this, you, you've gone. Uh, speaking of going off the rockers, you've got, you've Whatever. lost it. Whatever. You've lost the plot there, my friend. You've lost the plot. Whatever. So, anyways, uh, stabby, stabby. So, um, yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> can, I think you can still find some of his videos online. I remember I liked one of them and then it disappeared, and I was like, oh fuck. Because, I don't know, I, it was very, he, it, it's very interesting. It's basically like watching... A train wreck? Yeah, but like a train wreck, but it's a human being. <laughs> it's a human being train wreck. You're watching a man's, like, psychosis. There, there's a lot of those out there, my you're, friend. There's a watching, lot of those out there. You're watching a man's psychosis and shit, like, you're like it's crazy. I don't know, I, I, the, those kind of situations, not to prolong this conversation, but those kind of situations for me just makes me realize that I'm not that bad. My life is not that bad. No. Other other people's misery makes me realize that my life is not that bad. I don't I don't there's a reason why commiserate I in other people's misery, but other people's misery makes me reflect upon my own existence and realize that you know what, shit ain't that bad. Shit ain't that bad. Shit ain't that bad. I stub my toe and I'm like, oh my god, this is the worst pain I've ever felt. And then I go on Twitter and I see a guy, you know, get decapitated in the middle of the streets in Brazil. Holy life ain't fuck, that bad. That, that's quite the segue. Life, life ain't that bad. And that's quite the segue. Yeah, so, but and, I, you know what? That was broad, and I bet you there's like 40 videos, and probably more. So. I know there's a lot of videos of people getting head in Brazil. I don't know about getting decapitated. But anyways. Um, true. So, uh, there's always that. This was phenomenal. This guy is phenomenal. I had mentioned that at the beginning of the video. Yeah. Uh, I think this video uh, really proves the point of his versatility I think and his it's range. Immense. And... It cements his greatness. It cements that they made a great choice. Yeah. It cements his greatness and also the greatness of the of the band choosing him. I think this is the right move for this band to move in the walked, right direction. I think he just walked into the auditions and they didn't even like hear him. They were just like, yeah, come here. I think they had him at go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? One of those. Because I don't see him doing a blah. So that has no, to be a goal. All right, guys. Thank you very much for everybody that voted for Equilibrium on our Patreon poll of the week. We really appreciate your support. If you're not supporting us on Patreon, that's totally fine. But we could definitely use some support. Yeah. I mean, just like uh, a person with a limp needs a cane, we could definitely need some financial support. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. But we don't make any money for sitting here and watching videos with you guys on YouTube. Exactly. Because God knows there's no money to be made here. <laughs> so Because um, you don't make money doing the same thing. Yeah, that's why I still... I have, people think we make money. People think this is my job. No. Bro. If this was my job, I would be on Twitch all the time like some other guys are and whatever. Like, I will try to be milking it across multiple platforms. I'm yeah. not. I have a full-time job. We just do this for the shits and... No, if I do that, that's different. In the, in the I do, it's jokes, different. In the dick jokes. All right. On that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Go check out uh, their uh, socials because I think they announced uh, a new record, if I'm not mistaken. I'm and excited. the dates of the release and all of that good shit. So go check it out and we'll see you all at the next one. See ya.